Good evening, Robert Scribbler here for a brief video. I'm going to do a little product review or, well, unboxing for you guys. I'm not going to review the product yet because the product has not been used. But um, we plan to use this particular product for adventure. Um, and we're going to do a quote-unquote unboxing. It's not an actual unboxing, so we're going to call it an unbagging because we have here before us a Gap Surf Helmet and so uh, this little bad boy I have some plans for. It's a part of my gear selection for giving you guys wave reports directly from the waves for the Outer Banks and in the Gap bag for the unbagging we have two ear protector devices. I understand that sometimes um, from the reviews I've seen online, if you're duck diving through powerful waves, these ear protectors can blow out. I haven't had any experience with this helmet whatsoever, but I'm going to try it without the ear protectors first. Um, I have gotten a camera mount for a GoPro, which we may mount on the top of the helmet. Uh, we're going to figure out different potential arrangements for the GoPro camera mount when we get the GoPro. We have the nice gap instruction manual. Uh, it's basically a bunch of uh, safety procedures and how to instructions for use of the helmet. It's amazing how many pages can be written on a helmet that you wear on your head. But there you have it. 36 page instruction manual, although for its part there are multiple languages, languages in this thing. And last but not least, the main event here, the Gaff Surf Helmet. And this helmet is made for water sports. It's nice and light. It's pretty tight. It's snug fitting. There's a chin strap here that has a plastic fastener and uh, a typical chin strap arrangement reminds me a lot of the military um, for this chin strap arrangement, although it <laughs> nowhere near as uncomfortable as the old K-Pots I used to wear when I was in the military. So there is your gaff helmet, and here is the GoPro mount, and the GoPro arrangement is likely to, uh, the location for the mount is likely to be about here. So, so we can get a, a good straight visual shot. Um, with the GoPro on the helmet, you can't see the, the video screen, so you have to make sure it's all lined up correctly before you put the helmet on. And, um, and there are various different um, safety considerations for using a GoPro in the ocean. Um, GoPro sells these bite mounts that um, that do allow you to see what you're filming, but the um, but the bite mount, if you like smash your face into like a reef or sandbar or whatnot, um, you could risk injury to your mouth or you know, harm to your teeth. Uh, I would like to avoid using the bite mount. I don't know. I might I might try the bite mount in lighter surf conditions to see how it works. But I think generally. I'm going to want to use the helmet. Um, we'll see how that works out. Uh, helmet as well does provide added protection for your for your gourd. And so definitely in heavy surf conditions. I'm going to be using this thing and it's uh, it is a nice snug fit. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and put it on. And here is your chin strap for the gaff helmet. And we're going to tighten it down just to get a little feel for it here. You don't want it to be jammed in your chin, but you do want it to fit snugly and to provide space for your ears. And so, yep, nice and solid. So yeah, your gaff helmet, and I intend to be mounting a GoPro up on top of this thing for filming wave weather and climate conditions. <laughs> in the near term. Um, yeah, we're going to have some adventure. I'm not yet set up for all this crazy stuff completely yet, but we are slowly gathering our gear. And I think that uh, maybe in the next 
three to six weeks, we can start actually getting in the water, doing some GoPro video shots uh, with the GoPro, get all the various equipment that I need. And I'd like to ramp it up to the point where I'm doing it on a daily basis, make various different surf gear with, for um, small wave conditions and wave conditions where the surfboards are unrideable will probably be using the body board and the main wave riding tool that is like i intend to be the lost rocket redux but we gotta get that thing together because uh the fin arrangement that we have for the lost rocket redux is um it doesn't have the power paddle power that i want so so we need to get that in line and we're going to have a backup surfboard here, the Everly, which is really old. I, I've surfed that thing way back in the day, back in the 1990s, actually. I surfed that board during the perfect storm. Um, I don't know if any of you guys saw that movie, but I surfed <laughs> during that storm down in St. Augustine, Florida's massive coastal system. And then, um, and then we also have a, another body board, which is a larger body board. And hopefully uh, we'll get Cat in the water because I just... Uh, I just got her some nice fins here. Uh, these little bad boys are the Viper fins. So, uh, but this is meant to be the <laughs> quote unquote boxing, unboxing of the Gap helmet for both head protection and for a camera mount. And just wearing it as I'm talking to you guys, it's actually very comfortable. It's very light, it's snug, doesn't really doesn't move much, doesn't feel like it's going to pop off my head, so I um, haven't tried it in the water yet, but we're, we're going to go ahead and do that at some point soon, and then we're going to set it up for filming. So yeah, so there is your gaff helmet and your handy dandy nice little gaff camera bag that they send with it. I am very pleased with this helmet so far. I haven't used it in the water yet, but I don't anticipate having any problems with it. It's light uh, and it's durable and it's strong and it's good protection for your cord. So um, all the things that I'm gonna need. Uh, the one thing I'm a little concerned about is uh, drilling a hole in it to put the, the camera mount. Um, <laughs> the instructions say don't drill a hole in it, but you need to drill a hole in it to put this camera mount. Uh, I don't think that there's a suction camera mount that's going to work on this helmet in the kind of conditions that I'm going to be in. We're, we're basically heading into the maelstrom. So, uh, and uh, you guys are going to come with me. <laughs> All right. So uh, that is the unboxing of the Gap helmet to protect the gourd of yours truly as we head out into some crazy surf conditions here with a camera in the near future for 2023. Who knew that 2023 would be the year of adventure? All right, well, thank you for joining me for the unboxing or the unbagging, as it were, of the Gaff Surf Helmet.